Live outside Yale New Haven Hospital, right around the corner from the Yale School of Medicine, which is conducting this research into exactly what is causing long COVID, which of course can affect multiple organ systems. This study conducted by the Yale School of Medicine focused on mild respiratory infection with COVID. To see what the long-term impact of a mild infection with SARS-CoV-2 might have on the uh, brain of the host. The research conducted with animals that were only infected in their lungs that did not result in them becoming terribly sick, mimicking a mild case of COVID in humans. What we found is that after seven days and after seven weeks of infection, we found significant damage in the cells that are found in the brain which would lead to significant neurological consequences if similar things were to happen in humans with mild COVID. And in the future, we will be testing various treatments to be able to block such an impact on the brain of a mild uh, COVID-19 disease. However, currently there is no therapy that's specifically targeted for either prevention or treatment of neurologic disease that happened as a consequence of infection with COVID. And this means that in addition to getting the vaccine and getting the booster, which re reduced the possibility of getting the virus, uh, we would also want to practice measures such as uh, proper ventilation and um, avoiding indoor crowding. As well as wearing a proper mask like a KN95 or N95 to help prevent exposure. Ultimately, they're just trying to understand the mechanism of COVID, the underlying mechanism so that they can ultimately develop a therapy for this long COVID really is tough to deal with. Live here in New Haven, I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.